If we had a fight, how would you make it up to me? Contestant number one. Hey, how are you? Hi, number one. It's really good to talk to you right now. I missed you. Um, <laughs> so I would gaslight you into <laughs> you thinking you're the problem. <laughs> And then I would abuse you emotionally to you get to a point where um, you only get satisfaction from me and if I tell you you look good or anything like that. And then I would start slightly treating you better um, so you think I'm changing. And then I it would be this off and on until you're almost hooked for life and I'm like, almost like a drug to you where even when you're not around me and we break up, like you're yearning for me like nicotine. Oh, and if that doesn't work, I'd get uh, go to a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, we're back. Uh, I think I've done the part one, right? 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 Okay, let's do the part two. This is guys blind dating one girl. Part two. Hey, <laughs> let's do this. Like I said, I'll start doing more of these dating videos that are becoming popular on YouTube. Blind dating, blindfold dating. Um, that's just what. If we had a fight, how would you make it up to me? I would. Oh well, yeah, go and watch the previous video. I think I'll put the link or something. This is the second part two of the video. So this is the second girl. There are three girls. The first girl, met us crazy. Second lady. For your apology. <laughs> <laughs> True. What's the apology? Why does it have to be the girl's fault? <laughs> <laughs> so I need to be too. Complete with the other two bachelors. A lot of them being blinded. Like I said, the people that made this blind data and all this sense popular on YouTube, to me, is still the side men because they have the best amount of views. Their Tinder dates, their sales or whatever, like, are they the ones who started? They made it popular to me. My name's Hunter, and I want someone... Sorry, I know there are channels that specialize in just doing just the data and something. Just like Zach's mom. What's the worst date you've been on? Oh, yeah, this is the oh, first girl. roommate was having sex with the same girl I had drinks with earlier that day on top of me. I grew up in Wakanda. You grew up in Wakanda? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you say it was your brother's sister? Yeah, so he yeah. was having sex with his sister is what he's trying to tell you. Oh. Oh. Do you want to know what my body count is today? Today? One. Oh wait, you mean like just, no, not like overall throughout your lifespan. Oh, 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 also one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> number six is my favorite. What the fuck? <laughs> Question number two, what superpower would you have in bed? Bachelor number two. My superpower in bed? If I could make both of us get to the point where we are about to come last, 30 minutes and then boom huge release whoa that was crazy <laughs> like regular sex from all of them you finish yeah. <laughs> that's a superpower that's a superpower <laughs> <laughs> he even said if i can get you there <laughs> 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 number three i think mine would be like shape shift then it could be like, the fuck <laughs> 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 then she doesn't actually have to look at me she could be anyone else. I could, you know, do all the different fantasies. She gets a pick. What would you shape trip into? Give me an example. Oh, um, probably just like a better looking guy. So like, number, so like. Oh, <laughs> number three. I bet you're very handsome. Oh, thank you, thank you. Confidence from two to three went way. <laughs> you bet wrong. <laughs> number three would uh, shape shift into number two. Yeah. <laughs> Did I mention I like a confident man? Contestant number four. You said you like compliments and a confident man? Yeah. Well, isn't that funny, gorgeous? Um, <laughs> nice. Ah, ah. That was good, dude. I'll give you that Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, my superpower would be to just make sure that you felt protected, but also flight, so that we could fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but also what? Also what? Also, also. No, what'd you say? <laughs> I need your answer, number four. No, what did you say? The right answer was. I don't no, know. it's fine. We're just having a good time. Protected as flying. There's that banter she was looking <laughs> for. What are you, Air Force One? Is that it? Got any more? Can I pick multiple? Laser eyes. 
<laughs> These were eyes was really high up there for me, but I held on because I was like, I gotta make sure you feel protected and I gotta make sure we can fly. But now if you're giving me options, laser eyes. That one was just selfish. I am gonna have to keep my eyes closed the entire time we have sex now though. <laughs> Are you nervous, number four? You're rambling. Am I nervous? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I was nervous, would I be like, just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Are you saying that your superpower would be to have all the superpowers? My superpower is that you would love me. <laughs> Contestant number five. Um, I would say teleportation. Because Where are you going? having sex with me normally does feel out of this world, but then with this superpower, it would literally be out of this world. Are, can we both teleport? Are you teleporting by yourself, or where are you, where no, are you going? No, we're doing it together. Okay, you could take me with you. Yeah, of course. What are you gonna do? Leave you? <laughs> I don't know if you can do both of us. Mid sex, just like disappear. <laughs> just imagine we're having sex in my fucking mansion, right? And then all of a sudden, boom, we're at the moon. Boom, we're in Burbank. Boom, Disneyland. Did you hear that though? He specifically has a mansion meant for fucking. It's his fucking I, oh, mansion. Oh, I heard, I, so, I wrote that down. Yeah, that's pretty disturbing, it's pretty gross. Oh, okay. boom, you have to be Oh, boom, you have to be fucking in the middle of Disneyland. Come on, man, seriously. Get yourself together. What the hell, kids are there? This is gonna sound like contestant number five. But, I would say fly. Take you to the highest places in the world. Wait a minute. It also kind of sounds like contestant number four. <laughs> 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 Who specifically said fly. Yeah, you did. I was about to say that's oh, close to he said I said fly, he said teleport. Also, while we're on it, I would love super strength. I don't know if you're allowing more. <laughs> he has three now. I don't None know. of these are like sex superpowers. They're just well, regular. It's romantic. I'm gonna fly you to the highest building with a view and fuck you. You can just fly her in a, in a plane into the highest building and fuck her. Do not fly in a plane into the highest building. It's romantic. I'm gonna fly you to the you can just fly her in a, in a plane into the highest building and fuck her. Do not fly in a plane into the highest building. <laughs> don't do that. No. That's what you said. You I just said that. I don't think that's okay. It's one of our worst attacks. No, I think, I think you can fly her to the highest point. What, are you just going to jump out? I don't know. Dude, bro. don't let this guy through an airport. Right. That's all I got to say. That's the number one. Yeah, I think anytime we wanted to get intimate, um, I would automatically change into a, a white tank top. Huh? Um, because I'm trying to beat it up like an alcoholic stepdad. What? Um, I put a white beater on. Real silent room after that one. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, what's a white beater? I think that's an American term, right? It's not a singlet, a singlet, um, singlet, or the white vest, whatever. <laughs> Inner vest or something. I honestly, I think number one was my favorite. What? You have daddy issues, don't you? Maybe. <laughs> and I can help you out with those. Least favorite was. Number four. That would be four. Too much power. Too many powers. Least favorite was number four. What? <laughs> because, <laughs> because I just, I still don't know his answer. I feel like all but, over but the don't place. You, don't you definitely know my answer since I had multiple? <laughs> I think you kept changing it with everyone, other, everyone else's answer. Okay, that's fine. But shouldn't it be six? Because at least four can fly plus more. Yeah, shouldn't it be six? <laughs> if we had a fight, how would you make it up to me? Contestant number three. You know, probably just like give you space first and then, you know, treat you to a surprise, like dinner, like a whole day, go on like a trip, you know, apologize. I'll, you know, make it the respectful answer and just, yeah, just kind of make it your day. Uh, just give me one second real quick. I said these have to be funny. <laughs> 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 Where would you take me on a trip? Um, Burbank. <laughs> Probably Burbank to start. And then maybe uh, Disneyland right after. You know, and then Disneyland. the moon, you gotta do like a crescendo. The moon's the last stop. David already took us to, I mean, number five already took us to that. Contestant number four. You got this, dude. This is my chance. This is your number four, you come on. I, I have faith you in you. This. Okay, okay. I would wait for your apology. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you? My apology? Yeah? Yeah. Why the fight? I'll just use your fault. 
what if everyone really went to the fucking moon? It's not gonna happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, contestant number five. If we got into a fight, the way I would make it up to you was just probably ask you to marry me or something. Right away, because I feel like I probably cheated on you with Zach's mom. Oh. Or... <laughs> That's what the fight would be over? Probably. Okay, contestant number six. You guys are gonna have to marry her before you stick um, it in her. I take you on a little spa date. Oh. Yeah. He's rubbing his hands together right now as he answers this, by the way. I just think that is pertinent information. He looks okay. like a fly. Oh, she's doing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's got rubbing his Straight to the point, number six. That was nice. Contestant number one. Hey, how are you? Hi, number one. It's really good to talk to you right now. I missed you. Um, <laughs> so, I would gaslight you into <laughs> thinking you're the problem. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. Do you know so many people in this world have been gaslighted up to now? They don't realize they were gaslighted. Uh, by their parents, family, siblings, the media. Like your teachers knew somebody has gaslighted you in a way that your thought process is actually your own. You believe that it's your own, but it's not your own. It turns out like, man, gaslighting is a scary thing if you've seen it. Like, if you've seen this happen to someone you know, and just watching it, like, observing it, like, it's crazy and then I would Never abuse mind. you emotionally to you get to a point where um, you only get satisfaction from me and if I tell you you look good or anything like that, and then I would start slightly treating you better um, so you think I'm changing. And then I w it would be this off and on until you're almost hooked for life and I'm like, almost like a drug to you where even when you're not around me and we break up, like you're yearning for me like nicotine. Oh, and if that doesn't work, I'd get uh, go to a movie. <laughs> <laughs> A movie, okay. That was scary, man. Number two. If we got in a fight. Mm -hmm. Sorry, fist or <laughs> First, I'm going to get you a bag of ice. Because I've am I've been training, so. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you trying to set yourself up Are for you a training? fight? Are you <laughs> Honestly, I would just tell you you're right. I, I don't have time for this kind of bullshit. So I just tell you you're right. Keep it moving. That's, that's it. it. That's it? That's it. All right. Okay. Then probably... Take you to the moon and Burbank. <laughs> <laughs> and Burbank, my two favorite places. My favorite was number six. Because he was straight to the point, and I like a spa day and dinner. That's fun. Just pick someone new. <laughs> <laughs> That's number four, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Least favorite was number one. I'm sorry. You don't want to get emotionally abused. Okay. I don't want to be guessed. I said, or a movie. <laughs> it's a two pronged wanna... answer. Okay. Okay, uh, you can come out. Hey! Hello. All right, who are you most attracted to? The first one in the black jacket. You said the first one in the black jacket, or did you say the guy behind him? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, now, who was she most compatible with? These guys right here. Boom. Okay. It's us. Who is she least compatible with? Number oh, four. Yes, I'm yellow. We don't need a computer to figure that one out. Number four. Number four. <laughs> no, it's okay. Are you okay, number four? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there a third one for the first one? Oh, whoa. This one has one second and third one. Okay. Final date. Hi, my name's Lauren. I'm 25. What I look for in a man is someone with a good sense of humor, always down for anything, and most importantly, strong enough to carry me. Oh, well that leaves me out. Contestant number one, if you were to create a sex position, what would it be called? Oh man, uh, I'd probably take it back to the farm, you know? Uh, that's where I grew up. Because reverse cowgirl's already taken, or else I, that'd be number one. Um, I'd probably call it the pig's tail, because I want you spinning on that thing like a helicopter. So. <laughs> And, they, and they, they, they tend to have curlier tails. Sorry, I'm from the south. We can't tell. Contestant number two. Probably mission control. Why would you call it that? <laughs> what does it entail? Because I'm going to control the mission. All right, he's trying to say, are you Mormon, ma'am? Because here's your letter for missionary work. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Thank you. You suck, Um, I think I would create a position called the dragon. <laughs> the dragon because it's like you'll feel like you're flying and it'll be the stuff of legend. 
Nah, <laughs> Contestant number four here. Don't worry about asking the question again. You don't have to do stuff like that with me. Um, <laughs> I listen. I retain. And I'm a gentleman. Noted. Kitty style. <laughs> That's what I would do. You sound like my uncle. Can you, can, can you describe that? Yeah. Yeah, what would you do? Paint a picture. I don't want to go into too many details, but I'll tell you right now, you would be coughing up a hairball when we're done. <laughs> I'm sorry, I heard kitty style. Uh, now, now it's kitty, now I feel bad. I was, kitty style! I thought this was pedophilia. No, 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 no. Oh, come uh, on, man. Uh, yeah, subtitles when I say it. <laughs> <laughs> I was with that for some fucks when I say it. I wonder why everyone's so on board. <laughs> no. I was like, all right. Kitty <laughs> style. I think that's worse. Kitty style's worse. Uh, I don't know what you're into. I don't want hairballs. Okay, next. Contestant number five. You know, I've actually done this position a bunch of times, over and over, and um, I would call it if I had to give it one name and to answer your question. I just want to say, right before this, we had a conversation about not having too long of answers. That's true, that's true. <laughs> uh, no, I'd call it the oopsie. Oh, Jesus. That doesn't sound good. Because afterwards, I'd be like... Oopsie. <laughs> Are you coming inside of her? Oh, yes, got it. exactly. Got it. Yeah, I got it, I got it. I want to change mine, kind of based on his. Is that okay? I'm contestant number four. Sure, let's hear it. The oopsie poopsie. <laughs> <laughs> What's your explanation? You know what my fucking is. That's number six. It's a savage. It's a savage. It's a savage. It's a savage. Um, I'm going to say the jackhammer. Would you like to explain? His name is Jack and he'll have a hammer. Yeah, and I'm going to hammer. You ever seen Thor, ma'am? Ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> Very similar to the head that's on that one. Okay, my favorite was contestant number one. Hell yeah. My least favorite was contestant number four. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. I misheard. <laughs> it's like this guy's gift has been the least favorite. Like, come on, man, bravo, man. Your your gift is impeccable. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> because I definitely said kitty style, then I said oopsie poopsie. Both pretty high in the Kama Sutch. Truh. Hell, I don't know what that word means, but it's hot. You're gonna stick with your answer? Yes. Well, okay. <laughs> Contestant number two, give me your corniest one-liner that you would send on a dating app. Horniest? Corniest. Horniest. Not horniest. Okay, I was confused. Just for fun, give what us the would horniest. Be your horniest one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like my corn stalk so up and hot or something like that. <laughs> Like I'm on a corn, like corn hub, corn hub, corn hub. <laughs> You've been on corn hub. My corniest one-liner. Can we come back to me? That's not how it works. Can we come back to me? I don't have anything. Come back. Let's come back to him. Yeah, we'll go yeah, back. Yeah, we'll come back to him. Speaking of coming on backs, so wait till you get to mine. <laughs> oh, man. Contestant number three. So I'm mad a few words. So I would use emojis, nah. and I would do a hammer emoji, <laughs> and then well, it's not the jackhammer thing. Relax. <laughs> a hammer emoji. And then an ice cube emoji. And then it'll be an icebreaker. Oh. That's go. pretty good. That's pretty corny. That's pretty good. That's corny as shit. <laughs> but also kind of horny as shit. <laughs> it's a little horny. If you <laughs> it's kind of horny as shit. It's hitting on all levels. Yeah. Contestant number four. I would, I, I like this emoji route. I would, my favorite emoji to send, I'll send two. The first one is the one with like the teeth or it's like, like cringe, like, oh, uh -oh. Grimace. Yeah, the good, yeah, the grimace. And then I would send the brown swirl. That's right, baby. We're right back to the oopsie fucking poops. <laughs> I'm dropping it. I feel like it was the it was the winner for the first one, and you didn't pick up on it. And so now you get a second opportunity. Not a lot of people get a second chance. It's a beautiful callback. I loved it. If they, if they don't answer, do you then say a second option is just a picture of a cat? Second option is just hey, here's a kernel of truth. I like him husky. Corn lovers are gonna get that one later. <laughs> That's me right here, demographic. Yeah. And the poopsie is gonna be corn. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you're still seeing the poopsie. Oh, my God. I'm not going there, by the way. Contestant number five. Uh, just off the top of my head, I'd say something like, um, I hope you like Taylor Swift because you're about to feel 22 dot 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 inches. Oh, 
Jesus. Whoa. Whoa. What do you mean by that? He's got a big cock, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, actually, I thought we were doing the horniest one. My bad. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Corniest would be. I hope you like Taylor Swift because you're about to feel 22 da 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 inches. <laughs> so cool. Around. Oh, that's time. That's, that's big. Diameter. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, fuck. That's girthy. Yeah. 22 inch diameter? What's length? That's like one of those pizzas that David Dobrik pretended was just a part of his videos, but were really big brand deals. Yeah. <laughs> Weird call out, man. <laughs> that seemed targeted like a missile. <laughs> Contestant number six. Uh, Corneas, can I have your jersey? Mm, jersey number. Ooh. Yeah. Number six is a basketball player. Oh, can I have your, your jersey number? number? Whoa, that's a thinker, not yeah, a I remember, thinker. I remember the guy is tall. I think so. Probably a basketball player too. Like yours. <laughs> Oopsie fucking poopsie <laughs> is what everyone's thinking about. Just so you know, it's on everyone's mind. I can't stop thinking about it. Contestant number one. Hi, sweetheart. This is probably what I would go with. I do the text and stuff. I text you this. I'm thinking of uh, doing a reservation tonight. I want to eat you out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number two. Well, Back I, I, I want to. <laughs> go around one more time. I want to thank you. <laughs> I can't think of shit. I'd probably send you an emoji of a corn. That's the answer if he came that up with. Wins. Get a little slob on his cob. So my favorite is number five. Only the first answer, not the second one. Not like girth. <laughs> because I love Taylor Swift. My least favorite is four. <laughs> You've got to be fucking kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't mean to like be weird about this or anything, but is this like fucking scripted? Because why am I getting all these no's when I'm clearly the fucking best option here? Yeah, maybe physically. Okay, uh, well, one more time. Who is your least favorite? Four. <laughs> Sorry, he's had a rough day. That's okay, that's okay. And I'm sorry I got a little angry right there. That's not on you. You're allowed to make whatever stupid fucking decision you wanna make. <laughs> Question number three. What celebrity relationship best describes how we would be? Contestant number four. Contestant number four. <laughs> kind of a big joke to you now, aren't I? Um, I would say Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. That's right. Oopsie fucking poopsie. <laughs> you gotta appreciate the, the journey you're taking us on. Totally uh, uh, oopsie. If you don't get the oopsie poopsie in the Johnny Depp and my hands concept, then you're lost. Let's go check out the trial and the story, man. Uh, <laughs> Um, J.C. Caitlin and Chelsea Martin. <laughs> For some reason, my, my water tastes just like wiener. <laughs> Oops. That was, that was me. Oh, why am I touching that? <laughs> Contestant number six. I'm going to go with Beyonce and Jay-Z Park over there. Mmm. What about Becky with the good hair? You know, <laughs> that was your oopsie boost. <laughs> Contestant number one. Yeah, I would probably go with, um, I'd go the Toy Story angle, just because I'm, I'm sure you like toys in the bedroom. But I'd probably go with uh, Cowboy Woody and Bo Peep, because you're probably trying to peep this Woody that I have for you right now. <laughs> um, it was a joke on a, on a penis. Um, <laughs> So right now, I currently have a hard on with five other guys around me, and that's because of you. I haven't even seen you yet, and that's how invested I am in our relationship, is that all the blood from my body is currently going to my loins. You can cut me off at any point. I just kind of wanted to say, come on, can someone else answer? I'm, just, I'm dying over here. <laughs> Do they count as celebrities? Yeah. That's what you got from that? Um, <laughs> uh, I'll go no. I'll go, uh, I'll go Kim and Pete, because I want to break up. <laughs> Mine would probably be a tie between Will and Jada or OJ and his ex-wife. <laughs> Do you care for elaboration? Yeah, please elaborate. Please don't. Please don't. I mean, I love it. Please, please don't. She, she, yeah, she's, she was murdered. Okay, next. <laughs> 
But we don't know by who, because the glove didn't fit, so. You can't quit. Wait a minute. I do want to say, while talking about OJ, contestant number five said, yeah, that's right. If the glove doesn't fit, you can't quit, which is not what it is. So that means he has no idea about pop culture earlier I than I like quit. Two you, it's not even you it's can't not to even quit. It, yeah. I'm going to cut this out. <laughs> no, if the glove doesn't fit, you, you must have quit. Uh, uh, must have quit. He's like, OJ couldn't quit, though. He just had to keep on stabbing. <laughs> Man, who's, are you on OJ's side or no? We just want to get it for the video. No. No. No, you're with OJ? I'll ask the questions around here. Oh. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. I like I that. Like that. <laughs> I like <laughs> that. <laughs> so the one that was working was Oopsie Poopsie. And, uh, <laughs> I'm versatile, baby. He does like a doggy style. He whispered in my ear. Kitty style. <laughs> my least favorite. Uh, before you say okay. anything. <laughs> but, oh yeah, I said I'm doing this, I have this crazy cutter, the block stuff knows cold and everything. That's in my throat starts to sound stuffy. Think about it like was it funny? Go ahead, whenever you're ready. Oh <laughs> 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 I'm scared to see number four. <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful, man. Crazy. All right, who are you most attracted to? Zach. Oh, oops. What the fuck? Oh, oh that's a hold on. Oh, 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 that was me. Oh. That's bullshit. This is a rigged competition. It, it makes me think that. No, I recognize him. For what? <laughs> His shitty podcast? That, that is sad if you do watch. That is pretty bad. Podcast. No, I don't watch. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. Sure. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, is that is Thank you. Is that um, accurate? I love you. I don't know if I should say it now or not. So. Yes. Okay. I want to hear it. <laughs> Who do you think before? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wrong. Well, do we have a surprise? <laughs> yeah, wrong. Go ahead. Who is it? <laughs> Doesn't even look like I stood <laughs> Um, that's crazy. No four. Oh, wow. Alright, this is Hunter. You you hated him. It's like, yeah, I know. I I think we could give it a chance. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Right. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I, I don't want to do this video ever again if Zach's here, because that's bullshit. Fact. What? He got number one physically every time. Yeah. No, I didn't. I got number two the second time. Yeah, he got one once. I got one of that once. Well, obviously, that's a fluke. <laughs> <laughs> you should do Hunter as the guy and then six girls up here. Ooh, should we do six Yeah, let's pick next? the guy that nobody fucking wanted to be the best. <laughs> that's a great way to get people to watch. <laughs> I love this, man. The characters are crazy, man. I'm gonna check out their YouTube channel. I think they are YouTubers, okay. Anyway, but thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Man, I'm out. I'm gonna deal with this stuffed, cold, block nose, everything. My head is whoosh stuffed, man. Okay, peace out.